Whoa! Ooh, look at him! Coogan Cassius, IFL TV, MTK Global. We're in Florida. With the champ, Shannon the Cannon. Let's go, champ! Come on in, Coogan. Let me close that door behind you, champ. Close it, close Man, it. Welcome to my home, champ. This Appreciate your, you, brother. This is your new home. That's yes, why. brother. My new house, man. We're just moving in now, so excuse me in the situation, but we're just moving in now. But you got your tree. You got your tree. Got my tree right here, as you can see. Um, my little office is coming together slowly. That's my office right here. You feel me? My little office, you know what I'm saying? You come right in here, working on something special in here. Okay. Check out the office, you know what I mean? <laughs> Loving the office. Thank Ch you, brother. Champ office. Let's go, champ. Come on in here, champ. This is the bedroom, as you can see, we're in the holiday spirit. We are in the holiday spirit. That's right, let's go, champ. Whoa, yes. Ooh, look at him. Very color coordinated here, yes, Sam. Brother. Yes, brother. We had to go to another level, you know what I mean? We did the wood for a long time, so we said we're going to surpass the wood. Let's go, champ. Let me take you to the bathroom, brother. <laughs> let's go, champ. <laughs> Come on in here, champ. Who's been in there, champ? As of so far, nobody except you and me, champ. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. This is the bathroom, champ. All right, all right. Let's go, champ. Feeling it, feeling it, champ. Thank you, bro. Let's go, champ. <coughs> Welcome to the, to the, all my fans from the UK. I just want to tell y'all, man, I love and miss y'all. I'll be back real soon. Come on, y'all. Let's go, champ. This oh, is this where the new uh, champ, champ in the kitchen is going to be? That's right. This is where we're going to do the in the kitchen from, with the champ from now on. Right here in the champ's new kitchen. Let's go, champ. A little dining area over here. And as you can see, my living room. Wow. You know, my kids and stuff, their room is back there. And here we have outside. Let's go, champ. Whoa. Here we are. That's right. Here we are. Here we are. Beautiful outdoors, Miami, Florida. Absolutely. Here we are on the water. So I'm come out here in the morning and think about all these pods that have been ducking me for all these years and how I need to knock their asses out. Let's go, champ. <laughs> Coogan Cassie is back here with Shannon Briggs. Ooh, let's go, champ. Yeah, first time I've uh, been to your residence. Well, it's the first time anyone's been to your residence. Pretty much, pretty much. I just moved in a couple of days ago and... um. You're the first visitor, champ. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Privileged. Thank you, brother. Um, yeah, so been a while since we've um, caught up. Yes, yes, y'all. And uh, a lot's been going on. Yes, yes, y'all. <laughs> so, uh, listen, obviously, we've got to talk about this. Right. Um, let's get right to it. Let's get right to it. Right. Um, you've c currently, over the last sort of few weeks, come off uh, a ban you were given. Yes. Um, talk to me a little bit about this and try and explain to us uh, this situation that you found yourself in? No situation is over. I got, I was on a ban, a six month ban for, um, for a banned substance in which I took and unfortunately, um, you know, I was, you know, suspended and my fight was canceled against Fresno Kendo for the WBA title. But I'm back now, look at me. I'm feeling great, I'm off suspension. I'm looking forward to fighting uh, hopefully your boy real soon. No. He's going down fast and hard. <laughs> Can't wait. Um, yeah, Shannon, do you, I mean, I read some comments that you felt <coughs> that you did kind of let your, your fans down by what, what happened, but there was reasoning from what I've read yes. to why there was uh, elevated levels of testosterone yes. uh, in your system. So um, it was to help you with your asthma. Is, was that correct? No, that's not correct. There was some portions of that have uh, been led to the media. But what happened is actually I was su subscribed um, to testosterone for depression. And that led to me, you know, taking it and coming back and feeling great and, you know, elevating my mood and how I was in a bad place. I was in a dark place. There's nothing, no secret. I talked about it many times, suffering from depression from a child. And um, it's something that I battled with off and on. And fortunately, um, I'm, I'm, I've found ways to medicate myself and do, do the right thing for mm -hmm. myself. And unfortunately, those things don't coincide with boxing. But now I'm clean. I'm ready to fight. I'm feeling great. I'm looking forward to fighting. Hopefully, um, within the next three or four months. Have the public and and your fans sort of perceived that situation that you were you was in, which is now over? How did they perceive that? Um, I mean, a lot of people took it hard in a sense, whereas like they were disappointed. They wanted me see, see me fight for the title, and so did I. Um, I've been struggling in this career my whole life, entire my whole entire boxing career has been a struggle to some degree. So for me, um, 
to get to such a point and then, you know, it, that to happen, it was devastating. But, you know, like anything in life that I've ever had to deal with, that I, in which I've had to deal with, I've, I've always had to, like, pick myself back up, and I did that and not give up. Um, that was a hard blow for me. A lot of people turned their back on me. A lot of friends and friends walked away. And um, it was, I was on my own to fend for myself and my family. And fortunately, I didn't give up. I started a new business, and it took off. And here I am today talking to you and not in the position that I was in last time where, you know, in my career, throughout, throughout my whole career, I've been financially suffering and, and struggling to, to, to make it, whether it was, I was going into a fight, every fight where bills had to be paid, and I was like, damn, I can't lose because of this and that. But now I'm in a different position, so now I'm looking forward to resuming my career in the best shape of my life, feeling good. I've only had two or three rough, rough fights out of 60 or 70 fights, so I'm looking forward, Coogan, to you know now resume my career the correct way, not under the gun, not under pressure, just fully focused on boxing, not worried about bills and worried about you know losing my house and lose. It's just so much drama that you can't go into a fight mentally focused on winning you got so much drama so for, for once in my life i'm finally in a place where i can just go out there and be myself and be happy and have fun and knock people out like i'm supposed to do so you were set in was it june uh, to fight fres quendo yes, uh, for the wba yes. heavyweight world lucky, title lucky him <laughs> let's go champ um obviously because of the situation we just talked about right. that fight wasn't to happen um now we're kind of coming towards the end of 2017 yes i'm assuming that you want to kind of this final push for you that you want to see this happen in 2018 whatever it is yeah ain't no final push this is it i'm having fun it's just the beginning this is uh the new shannon the cannon you know what i'm saying not under pressure whereas you know i'm like damn i'm, I'm running this guy down running that guy down and they don't want to fight me anyway. And I'm hyping them up aside from that. I'm, I hyped up Klitschko. Everybody was like, yo, you know, who, who wasn't fans of his, being, watched the whole fiasco. Same thing with Hay. Same thing um, with Wilder. The same thing with all these guys. I'm not doing that no more. I'm not chasing nobody. I'm still fighting. I'm staying busy. busy. I'm knocking out all pies. They all bums. They all pies to me. I'm knocking them all out. But at the same time, I'm not doing it in the sense where it's like, it's a, I need you. I need you. Let's go, champ. We've heard some comments from yeah. Tyson Fury, whose situation yeah. with uh, UCAD has now been resolved. Now he has to obviously yeah. obtain a, a license yeah. to box again. But he, he, we've seen some quotes, we were watching them earlier on, where he's yeah. expressed uh, a desire to fight you at some yeah. point. So yeah. what have you got to say about that? Yeah, I'm with it. Let's go, champ. You know what I'm saying? Let's not talk about it. Let's not talk about too much about, you know, us fighting. Let's just fight. Let's get right to it. Send the contract. Let's go, champ. We ain't going to be always playing around, and I'm not chasing you down. I'll come chase you and slap you, you know, whatever I got to do, but I ain't on it like that no more. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to chase nobody down. But if you want it, you could get it. That's not a problem. I'm with whatever. Nothing's changed about me except I'm not, you know, at the mercy of people giving me fights and not giving me fights. That's over now, champ. Now, I'm just directly coming for your juggler. If I don't like you, I'm going to get you. It's not about money. It's just I just don't like you. Let's go, champ. Shannon, what have you made of the situation regarding... Sorry, pardon me, champ. Go. <laughs> Excuse me, brother. That's all right. Let's go, champ. No, you're good. You're good. I apologize. You're good. What have you made of the situation regarding Tyson Fury? He's been out the ring for over two years yeah. now since he beat Klitschko. Yeah. He's had this situation yeah. sort of... Uh, going on yeah, for the last two him. years, yeah. but I mean, is he going to be the same fighter that, no that fought Klitschko? No way. If he, you know what? The thing is, it's best not you fight me. You feel me? It's best not you fight me. You can probably look in my eyes and see that I'm not regular like everybody else. You feel me? I'm different. So the whole thing is with me. You need to fight somebody that is more in line with just having a regular boxing fight. I want to fight like a street fight, like when the bell ring, the old Mike Tyson. That's what I'm on. All skills out the window. Ding, trying to gun you down. So for him to have a proper fight, he should fight someone that, you know, probably will give him more of like a, a, a nice boxing match. But if you want to fight, champ, you got to see me, a real fight. And that's what the people want. That's what I think, champ, personally. But, you know. Sometimes, <laughs> let's go champ, I go off the rocker a little bit, so I could be wrong. That's all right. Let's go champ. Um, obviously a fight that is talked about for 2018 is between Tyson Fury and Anthony Joshua. Do you think Ooh. that fight will happen? If it does happen, who wins that fight? Against who? Joshua. Against Wilder? Fury. Yeah, Fury. Oh, Fury. Fury ain't to be talked about. Fury is nothing, y'all. Fury is fat, out of shape. 
Uh, he's just right now talking about he, you know, he lost a little weight. I'm impressed. I seen a before and after picture of him like 30, 40 days ago. He's trying, but I think he's, I think he's BSing. I don't think he's really gonna fight. He's always doing this now, getting a little attention. Then he'll go into a crying fit and say this and that, and go onto a rant and lose it again. But we ain't going for that. If you want to fight, let's go, champ. Don't even play no more games. Let's stop making videos. Send the contract. I'll come over to wherever you want to fight at. Manchester, London, Hackney, um, uh, you name it. Uh, Birmingham, Liverpool. Hackney? Yeah, Hackney. I'll go anywhere, champ. You name it. Kent. I'll go in. I'll fight you anywhere, champ. I, in Harrods. We can make the fight in Harrods. Look at him. Let's go, champ. Okay. Let's go, champ. Harrods, that'll be a new one. That's right. Okay. In the mall. In the mall. Uh, let me ask your opinion. Obviously, we were meant to see the last week the, um, the rematch between your old friend David Hay and, and Tony Bennett. Yeah, that didn't happen. Chicken. David Feathers. The fight's now rescheduled for May the 5th next year. Uh, yeah. Thoughts on that, Shannon? For what? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Let's go, champ. Who cares? So they, they beat each other up. You know what I'm saying? Then what's going to happen next? What? So now Bello is uh, a top-rated guy. should be fighting for a title. And now David Hay is a top-rated guy because he beat Bello. He should be fighting for the title. Come on. Let's be honest. I mean, it's a, it's a great... Neighborhood rivalry fight for the neighborhood and all that. That's cool. And if the fans love it, that's cool. But we talking about raw battling, like get down to it. That's what I'm on. That's why David Hay ain't fight me. And all. And let's get down to that. He just didn't fight me. There's no 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 other reason. There was no talks or nothing except David Hay just didn't want to fight. He just pulled out. He just went ghost. Him and his whole team was like, no. Bottom line, I'm too dangerous. Champ's too dangerous, so that's why they ain't go with me. You feel me? That's why they went with Bello. And Bello's a nice little guy, but he's not a heavyweight, champ. Let's keep it real. You feel me? And that's why I'm not getting fights. I'm not getting fights because I'm serious, man. You know, it ain't nothing about no money. I'm not scant. You feel me? I'm not scant. So now you know it's real. You know it's just that I don't like him. Just don't like him. Hey, uh, um, the Gypsy King, Queen, um, Wilder, Beyonce Wilder, Clisco, but he gone. Um... Give me anybody I don't like. I'm, you you on the list, champ. You on the list. <laughs> Let's go, champ. Chill, champ. Chill. <laughs> chill, champ. Go ahead, brother. What are you, what are your, in your opinion, yes, your brother. realistic chances of fighting one of those top guys? Because I'm, I'm assuming that that's what you want, to fight one of the top heavyweights in, in world boxing. I got to think about that, champ. I mean, I really got to think about that. I think what I like to do is just, you know, I like big fights. I like titles. I like to win titles. I like to, you know, accomplish things that I can look back and say I did that. You know, I set a goal, and I went, and and I, and I go for it. Um, become a heavyweight champion in the world for the third time is a goal of mine. It's something I want to do. I wake up these days now with anxiety about whether, you know, what I'm saying, what, what should I do? You know, I'm in a different position that I've ever been in financially um, for my family. So now I have to decide at my age. What am I doing it for? And I, what I'm doing it for now is because I did set the goal out and I, I plan on becoming a heavyweight champion for the third time and the only man to do it in three different decades. That's it. That's the goal. Have you spoken to any of the UK promoters about potentially fighting one of the British heavyweights? No, I've spoken to Frank Warren off and on, just speaking to Frank Warren, but I'm not even sure if Frank Warren is with him. I'm, I've been speaking with Warren through uh, Michael Marley. Mike Marley spoken to Frank Warren quite some time. We've been speaking to him for months now. And, you know, the word is that they said that we want to fight you and we love to fight. And um, recently Tyson spoke that he wanted, you know, he, he thought it'd be a great fight. He said he liked to fight me. I love to fight. But we ain't going to go too crazy about it. We're just going to let it happen. He's training now, and that's good. He's going to need to get in the best shape he can because, boy, if, if we do fight, I got nothing but, you know, a lot of, ferocious things inside of me <laughs> that I need to unleash on you, brother. So, let's go, champ. So, despite, obviously, us listening to Tyson Fury in an interview saying that he would be interested in that fight, do you believe that he actually would fight you? Um, I think he would, but I don't think he, I don't know how serious he is about fighting again, period. I see he's training and all that, but we don't know how much it's just talk, you know what I'm saying? I had nine fights in my comeback, you feel me? I had nine, nine fights. Um, unfortunately, until I got the, you know the suspension, I was on my I was on a roll. 
now I've got to get back on the roll. He's got to get back on the roll. If he's serious, we'll do it. If he's not, we're going to still stay busy. We're going to go on the pie tour, champ. The pie tour all around the world. We're going to be knocking out pies. Pies like Hay, pies like Bello, pies like Wilder. All of them, any of them. They can all get it, champ. And the big, at the end of the day, I might have to come after Joshua because he looking like he the man. And I love brother. I love the brother. He's a good brother, but he got what I want. If, if he has the belt, if he has a strap when it's time, then I got to go after my brother. Let's go, champ. Joshua looks set to fight Joseph Parker. Yes. Uh, Joseph Parker Great obviously fight. holds the WBO title. Joshua's got the WBA and IBF title. So that can't find fight, sorry, kind of makes sense and yes. it looks set to be announced soon. So. Great fight. Great fight. But I you, love that fight. You've been, I, mean, so you, I remember when you came over and you spent a bit of time with Joshua yes. uh, before he was going to fight. Was it Brazil or? Yes. Dominic Brazil, was that when yeah. you were over? Or was no, it? No, was, no, no, I was uh, the Southport guy. Martin. Charles Martin. Charles Martin. Charles Martin. But yeah, then he had that obviously that yeah. epic night at Wembley with Klitschko. But I know. was there for a few of his fights. Yeah. So, but you've been impressed with what you've seen from? Very impressed. Very impressed. Um, great guy. Great for boxing. Uh, I'm impressed. I like watching him. Let's go, champ. But you know, if you get your shot. But if you give me a shot, I'll take it, and I'm going for it. He knows that. That's what I do. I, you know, but that's who I am. And I love the you know young tiger, a young lion versus an old lion. You know what I'm saying? If it happens, it happens. But um, right now, if I know I knock off Fury, that's the heavyweight champion. He's the, he's the undefeated, undisputed linear heavyweight champion. So knocking off him is like knocking, it's like winning the title. I could do that, and I could, um, you know, see what happens from there. If, if Joshua want to come, come. If whoever wins between him and Parker, whoever won it, especially Beyonce Wilder, you won it, you could get it. I really don't like you, champ. Were you impressed with his win over Stavern? It was against Stavern. You know what I'm saying? Let's go, let's go champ. You know, Stavern wasn't even ready. I mean, he won the last time he fought. You know what I'm saying? Come on, champ. How many years have you got left in the sport? Ten. Really? How old are you now? I'm 46,000 46. years old. Ten years? 46,000 years old. Yes, <laughs> brother. Ten more years. you still be fighting at 56, really? Yeah, probably. Having fun. Knocking out pies. All of them. Having fun. At least to 50. At least to 50. At least to 50. If I want to. If I want to. Just having fun. It just keeps me in shape. It keeps me going. You know what I mean? You got to have something to do in life. If you don't, you pick up bad habits. You pick up bad hobbies. And that's what I'm not doing. I don't drink. I haven't had a drink in over six years. Uh, I feel great. I, I think health and training has transformed my life. It's given me a different uh, outlook on life as far as being healthy and looking forward to, you know, growing older but being strong when I'm old. Would you be, years. If you wasn't to fight again in your career, would you still be satisfied with your boxing career today? I mean, you, it sounds silly, a bit of a silly question, but you're, you're 46 and you still want to fight. So yeah. that's why I'm asking that. Would you I'm 46. Be? I'm doing well financially. My company, Champ Rx CBD, is taking off. Um, I don't know. I just like to do what I do, man. I love entertaining. I love fighting, being around the people. You know, there's nothing like an hour before a fight, you know, or the night before a fight, thinking about, you know, what's going to happen, the butterflies, the nervousness, uh, you know, going to eat that morning, that lunch, and then, you know, the build up to the fight. There's nothing, there's nothing in the world that could ever give me that feeling. But would you feel that there was something missing in your life if you wasn't to fight again? Or not? No, 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 no. I don't know yet. To be honest with you, I can't answer that question. I'm, I'm still, I still agree. I, I, I still feel like a kid. I feel young. I feel like, um, you know, I'm still having fun. I'm, go, I still go to the beach all the time, and I listen to these dope beats. You know, feel me. I, I live like a kid. I mean, I, I live like a teenager kid. I'm still living life, having fun. I'm not growing old. I'm not letting myself be like, oh, I'm an old man now. Nah, I'm living life to the fullest. I'm, I'm doing great things. I'm looking forward to my business. You know, hopefully becoming a billionaire, man. That's my goal is to make it as much money as I can for to secure myself and my family and my legacy, but at the same time to help people. I really want to take homeless people and, and, and give them away, man, because I was homeless. So that's one of my goals in life. It's promoting something you're interested in doing. Yeah, I want to promote. That's fun. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I, my, my, one of my biggest passion it will be is to take people off the streets and give them a home. You know, I was a homeless teenager, me and my mom. So for me, when I see kids or 
I see people living in the streets, I can I can definitely feel that. So that's something that one of my big causes I want to do in, you know, school programs, helping kids get you know school lunches. A lot of kids go to school, man, and the only meal they get for the day is the school lunch. So these are things that I want to do: help out kids, help out people around the world, all around the world, champ. That's what Let's Go Champ is about. I actually didn't know that about you, that you were you were homeless as a, a teenager. How long was that for? Yeah, I was homeless from like 13 to like on and off to 20 years old. Me and my mom, my mom died on my birthday of a heroin overdose, and my dad died in prison. I'm the only child, and you know, I was born with asthma. So all these years, I was fighting with asthma and trying to make it, and I did it, man. And I'm at a place now in my life where, you know, um, I'm happy, and I'm not, I don't have to fight anymore to make a living, you know what I'm saying? I never got rich in boxing. I never made a lot of money in boxing, but I did okay. I did enough to survive and take care of my, my wife and three kids. But now I'm at the point where I don't have to fight for money. Now I can fight for fun. And that, that's something I always dreamed of, Coogan. I always said to myself, I would love to one day know how it feels to go in a fight with millions of dollars in the bank or have money, you know what I'm saying? Not even any money in the bank, you know what I mean? I never went into a fight. I always said to myself, guys like De La Hoya and um, Floyd Mayweather are, are true fighters, great fighters, because you can see that even with money, they had the love for the sport. They were still fighting. Whereas, you know, I was always fighting for hunger. You know what I'm saying? Hunger was always my thing. I needed to make bread. So I was always at your throat, you know what I mean? Trying to get promoters or managers to give me a fight. Now, I'm in a different, different space mentally, but I realized that I've been waking up for the last couple months saying, I'm still hungry. You still want that blood, champ. Look at you, champ. You still want it. So now I'm just like, chill, champ, chill, but it's in me. You feel me? I realize who I am. And that's who I am, you know what I'm saying? Like, with money or without, I, I want you. I want I want to feel that leather. I want to be close up in the clinches. I want I want to be, you know, when you're in that clinch, and it, you hear him, you grunting, and you knock his tooth out, and he swallow it. And then you go to the body. That's what I live. I miss that. Let's go, champ. Yeah, champ. Chill, champ, yeah. chill. <laughs> Shannon, is Manuel Char someone you may target who won the title that you were meant to be fighting for? Manuel Char beat Ustinov not too long ago. Is that something that would interest you to try and win back the title you were, well, you were going to yes, fight for? Yes, indeed. Definitely. He could get it too. Let's go, champ. Manuel Char, if you're watching this anywhere, call me. 954-558-755. Let's go, champ. <laughs> I, hope, chill, I hope that's not your actual number, Shannon. It actually is, but chill, chill. Let's go, champ. Call. Yeah, you I know people are going to be watching this and trying to ring that number now. That's whatever okay. it is. Call the champ or call, email me. Let's go, champ. Shannon Briggs at live.com. I'm taking all phone calls. Call right now. 1 800 Let's Go Champ. <laughs> um, okay. Well, listen, Shannon, it's been um, very uh, interesting today. and like I said, we'll see what happens. <coughs> is it, a, is it, am I right in saying it's your comeback for next year? Or nah, is that champ, wrong? it's the regular, ain't nothing changed. No. It's still hunting season. You know, I feel like every time I talk to you, champ, I give my best interviews. Cause I'd be like thinking to myself, damn, maybe he'll, he'll spice it up. But you don't do no editing. So you, you no, get what you get. this goes in raw, this goes in raw. Which I'd be like, man, come on, take that part out, champ. But he never does it. So it's all good, I appreciate you. And to all my people back at home, my second home in England, I love y'all. I'll be back real soon, chasing them down like nothing ever happened. But with a different cause, not for the money, just cause I like to chase them down. Let's go, champ. We just got a, Let's go, champ. a request on Twitter as yeah. it's Christmas Day. To the, well, it's not Christmas Day. <coughs> when it comes out, it'll be Christmas Day. Yes, brother. But the, the fans want you to sing a two verses of you know, a Christmas song. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas. It's the champ, Shannon the Cannon. Dancing through the snow with a one quick nod. <laughs> Let's go, champ. Well, <laughs> you know that song? Away in the manger, you know that one? Nah, you know, dancing through the snow. Hold on, we got we got some requests coming through. Wait there, L L wham, is this wham. They want lamb, uh, lamb, wham, wham. Last Christmas. I don't know that one. You don't know that one? Nah, I don't even know any of them. What's any of them? Last um, Christmas. Hell no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of any Christmas songs I know. I don't even know any of them. Champ, they're coming for you. Chill, champ, chill. Let's go, champ. <laughs> Shannon, who have you got with you? I got my boy, Big Zach. Zach, can we get a, list, a Let's Go Champ? Let me get one Let's Go Champ. What one? Come Just on, one, Zach. For the people at home. Let's Come Go Champ. Ooh, Let's Go Champ. Now you're going in the pool. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>